We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord right now, Remnant. I have a short little edification. And if you feel like you've been disrespected, if you feel like you've been being human trafficked, you came to the right person. This is the Church Without Judgment. I want to share a quick story about Joseph. We understand he was sold into slavery, bonded, servitude. I looked at this and I found something peculiar that I never saw before and I want to impart it to you. I want to impart it. We see, I'm going to pray real quick, Father, forgive me of my sins, Holy Spirit, I must decrease so Jesus can increase. I want to focus on human trafficking. Human traffickers have been around for thousands of years, but it's not right and God will handle it. Just because they get away with it, there will be judgment. Joseph had a dream. I want to give you a backdrop. He's 17 years of age. He has a lot of brothers and he's a dreamer. They're jealous. And in verse 11, 37 Genesis, it says, and his brothers envied him. Stay focused. They envied him. They had jealousy. Envy is when you want someone else's seat. But his father kept the matter in mind. I want to talk about human trafficking. It comes in different areas. They'll traffic you at work. They'll traffic you at school. It is not appropriate behavior out of individuals that want to manhandle you and use and abuse you. I want to show you this story. So in Genesis 37... 19 and 20, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. Genesis 37, 19 and 20. Joseph is dreaming. If you have a dream, they're going to be mad about you because when you dream, that means you want to take yourself from a stationary position and you want to move forward and you want to have a vision. But his brothers were mad. Listen to 19. Then they said to one another, look, this dreamer is coming. That word dreamer really means the master of dreams. They said, the brothers, they, they then said, here, then they said to one another, all the brothers were against a 17 year old young man. Look, this dreamer is coming. They meant the master of dreams. Listen to 20. Come, therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit. And we shall say some wild beast has devoured him, devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. They took opportunity and came up with a plan. The enemy never sleeps. He came up with a plan. Listen to this and I'm almost done. Genesis 37, we're talking about human trafficking. Do you feel like you've been being aborted, disrespected? Do they have envy, jealousy? Are they talking about you? Are they trying to ruin your reputation like Joseph? So listen to this. I never saw this. Here are the brothers. Come and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites. So that's Jacob's brother's tribe. Let us sell up to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him. They want to do it, but they want to do it in secret. For he is our brother and our flesh and his brother. Listen. So then the medium, the Medianite trader. So there was a trader that passed by. So the brothers they pulled out their own brother so that he could be human trafficked. I never saw this before. So there's an Ishmaelite trader. Then there's the brothers. Then there's Joseph that's 17 years of age. He's in the pit. So the brothers reach out like Jesus, but they're different than Jesus. They're doing it for trafficking. It says, so the brothers pulled Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit for what? To sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. And they took Joseph to Egypt. 20 shekels of silver. You remember what Judas took? 
And then he threw it back and then he hung himself because he had a conscience later. Get your conscience cleared now. Joseph is sold into slavery, but I came to tell you right now. So watch this. He is the master of, of dreams in 19. And in 20, let's kill him and cast him in the pit. This is what they've done to some of y'all. This is what has done. It'll be done. So the Midianite traders sold him to the Ishmaelites. But Joseph was with God. Joseph at this point is 17, but in about 13 years, it says he becomes second in charge. And I'm speaking to you and I want to take you to Genesis 50. Now I'm going to close. Listen to this. Now Joseph is second in charge and now his family that disrespected him and dishonored him. There's a famine over there in uh huh. There's a famine over there in Judah and Israel and they need food and they got to come back to him. But they don't know it's him. But then he 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 exposes his identity and he tells them who he is. So I'm here to speak to you. You may have been put in a pit. You may be drowning. You may be in quicksand. They might have lied on you because you're the master dreamer. Don't be mad at them because they're dreaming. And because daddy gave him a multi-tunic coat, the brothers were mad and it was a lot of them. But listen to this. Now I'm closing. Genesis 50, 17. So, so shall you say to Joseph, listen to this. They already know how to do it. Forgive, take up away all resentment and all claims to re, uh, requital concerning. I pray you now. This is what this is what they need to tell him when they want the food. The trespasses of your brothers and their sin, for they did evil to you. Remember, they threw him in the pit. Now we pray, forgive the trespass of the service of your father's God. And Joseph wept when they spoke thus to him. Then his brothers went and fell down before him, saying, See, we are your servants, your slaves. Remember, he had to dream that they would serve him. The, the younger, the latters would serve the younger, like Esau would serve Jacob. And Joseph said to them, Fear not. This is humility. For I am, am I in the place of God? Vengeance is his, not mine. Listen to this. If you've been human trafficked like Joseph, his brothers pulled him out to traffic him and make money. They got 20 pieces of silver. As for you, Genesis 50, 20, this is what he says. As for you, you thought evil against me, but God, God meant it for good to bring it that many people should be kept alive as they are this day. I'm going to read this again. If you've been human trafficked in any form and matter, if it is physical abuse or emotional abuse, mental abuse, if you've been cut on, if you've been shot at, if you've been lied to, if they're aborting your vision of jealousy and envy, listen to this. As it is for you. This was Joseph talking to his brothers. You meant evil against me. Listen to this remnant. But God meant it for good to bring about that many people. A remnant should be kept alive as it is this day. Now, therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for and support you. This is the report of the word of the Lord. God says, now, therefore, do not be afraid. I will provide for and support you and your little ones. And he comforted them, imparting cheer, hope. This is the Amplified. This is what Joseph did for the children of Israel. And this is what God is going to do for us. And he comforted them. God's going to comfort you, imparting cheer, hope, strength. And he spoke to their hearts kindly. He spoke to their hearts kindly. Joseph dwelt in Egypt. He and his father's household and Joseph lived 110 years. I'm speaking to the nations and to my remnant family. 102 right now. 102 members. God wants us 
to not be human trafficked. Do not look when they want to reach out and pull you up. You need to use godly wisdom because they will hide behind the mask. That's whoever is not the remnant. Joseph's brothers, because he's a master dreamer, they despise it a plot. And the man came, the traitor came, and they sold him. They lifted him out to sell him. They didn't lift him up like Jesus says, do you want to be made well? So the economy here is God is speaking and you need you need godly wisdom like Joseph. But 13 years later, he was in charge and he gave out wheat and barley. He gave out water, spring water. He gave them. And later on, and later on, they took his bones and it went back over there to the Negevs over there in Jerusalem. He was buried in the area where he came. And I'm speaking to you now. God is imparting to me to tell you that no more human trafficking for us. We will teach them how to treat us. And you was in the pit. But God says, now you're going into the palace. It's not by might. It's not by power, but it's by his spirit, says the Lord. He is the Lord. Yao, the Lord of the Sabbath. We love you from the church without judgment. Be peaceful and be graceful and forgive in love and trust the Lord with all your heart and not lean unto your own understanding in all your ways. He will guard and protect your heart in Christ Jesus. Bye-bye.